So I bring in all the wishes and greetings on behalf of all the faculty members and team of Speed to Dr. Nupur Chawla Pruthi for scoring rank number 276 in MCH OBG group for uh, MCH NEET SS 2022 exam. Yes, correct. Congra- congratulations <laughs> to you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. And the credit goes to the hard work plus the Speed app. It's a combined effort and the revisions that you told. Actually, I had given my MRCOG part two uh, in July this year. So I had prepared for that. And then after that, I had joined uh, Speed uh, Coaching for this NEET SS. So I had done all the uh, the Royal College guidelines and I just did the questions on the Speed app. That's it. Very so, nice. Very nice of you. And can we, can we know where you started your journey in medicine and ended up uh, right now up to this point? So uh, I started in 2011 was my MBBS year and then I did my DNB in OBS and Gynae from 2017. Where you did your medicine? I did my MBBS from Manipal, Karnataka. Okay. And after that, I did my three years in DNB, OBS and Gynae from uh, Sefi Hospital, Bombay. And after that, I'm doing my senior residency in Lady Harding Medical College in New Delhi. Excellent. I'm in my third year right now. So what is your interest? Gynae, Oncology or Reproductive Medicine? Actually, neither of them. <laughs> the voice is exercise. I wanted, I wanted to actually uh, have interest in fetal medicine. So and that is my main interest. I gave this exam uh, just because I had prepared for another exam. So I just wanted to sit for a, uh, for a competitive exam and see how questions are in Indian exams to be very truthful to you. Is it okay? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a competitive one. It's uh, very different from uh, what uh, Royal College questions in MRCOG are. And uh, so it's that way it's dif- different from that because, you know, you have ACOG guidelines and you also have Barrick and Novak and then you have Williams also. So there are a lot of things here and some things are there, some things are not there. But it's a pretty difficult and uh, not so easy exam to <laughs> crack, especially with the number of seats that you're aiming for. So MRCOG is easier than uh, Indian exam, am I right? No doubts. <laughs> Only because the number of seats are less, right? Uh, there in MRCOG, you don't have to crack the exam to get a seat. You just need to pass the exam. And right. there's a percentile, you get it and you're cleared. But here, there are some only 40, 50 seats you're aiming for and thousands and thousands of students. So, of course, the even if the exam comes easy, the competition soars high. So you need to mm-hmm. have the knowledge, that's it. You have need to have the knowledge and turn into wisdom to have an MRCOG. Here, you, you need to have stuff like a school child to have <laughs> know all the facts, concepts, exactly. everything exactly. You, you need to have in separate areas yeah. and to put it in place. Yeah, it's a plateau. It's a mixed yeah. cuisine. <laughs> <laughs> a mixed cuisine. So yeah. it's totally two different exams. And... Uh, the way the exam in MRCOG and here, I mean, the, it, it, it'll be, you will be treated like a consultant there and here you'll be treated like a student yeah. here. Yeah. So yeah. those are things. <laughs> and what, now what is your plan, doctor? I mean, uh, what are you planning to do right now? Uh, so now I'm in a, in, a, in a tertiary care center here doing my senior residency and I plan to aim for fetal medicine in FET to Jan 2023. That is my primary aim. And uh, that's what I uh, find my interest in. So that's the target next, <laughs> if yeah, possible. Yeah, it. yes, yes. See, I'll tell you, there is one one thing which is in the beauty of medicine is, and uh, this, I mean, you can do whatever you wanted to do. And uh, <laughs> and as you wanted to do, and uh, and the kind of uh, satisfaction and the kind of uh, the journey that is taken on that path, and it <laughs> is uh, endless. There is no time bound. And yeah. as, I mean, as it is achieved and accomplished, and uh, and do a practice on that, as you said, in fetal medicine, once it is happened yeah. and once it is done, then mm-hmm. you will have a beautiful journey and you will be with that speciality and throughout the life. And sure. uh, this, that is awesome. That's that's the beauty of uh, medicine. And that's you true. live in what, it, what what you wanted to live and what you, how you wanted to live and yeah. uh, and, uh, and totally independent. Isn't that, is, this, this professional course is 100% independent. Exactly. Irrespective of anything in life. So... Mm. Mm-hmm. That is between one and one because of my experience to the stage mm-hmm. when I came here. Uh, I mean, it is everything apart. It is me and my speciality. It is what mm-hmm. matters. And, yeah, and that is for more that. hours. That is for yeah. more hours in a day. See, suppose and effectively at 12 hours in a day, I am mm-hmm. 8 hours in that. Mm-hmm. 8 hours in that. Or 8 to in 10 that. hours in that. In that times, more exactly. time in that. And as as exactly. the age goes more, and the more time is spent on that. 
Hmm, exactly, exactly. So your interest and your likely liking for that subject is very, very important because majority yes. of life is going to go in that. And if you don't love that subject, then it's not going to work out. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> very nice, doctor. Nice talking to you. Keep moving. Wish you all yeah. the best and all the success. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you.